Hi guys, this is Carissa with Inky Fairy Designs and today I'm sharing a card that I made. It's a birthday card using my favorite things, stamps, or actually not stamps, just dies. And it's kind of like a watercolor mixed media style card. So I'm going to show you how I made that today. I'm super excited though. Um, I did get new lighting for filming and I think it looks brighter. Um, I probably need to play around with um, maybe some of the settings in my um, iMovie to see if I can brighten it up any for you. But um, leave some comments and let me know if you think that the new lighting has made any sort of difference. Um, I just got a couple new lamps and some LED uh, daylight style light bulbs um, because um, I saw that mentioned on uh, CC Designs YouTube channel. So she's got gorgeous lighting. I don't have anything like that, but I think it's made quite a difference. So back to the card. Um, I'm just doing a simple watercolor background wash. Um, I'm using the um, Kuretake Gonzai Tambi or Tambi, I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it, um, watercolor set. And I pulled out four colors um, from that set. So I love this watercolor set. One of the things being that it's really creamy and pigmented and kind of an opaque watercolor. Um, so it's definitely unique. And the other thing I like is that the pans, you can pull them out because I have the large 36 set and I don't norm, I don't really want all of those colors taking up the room on my desk. So I can pull out the individual pans and pull the colors that I'm using and have them right next to me and then when I'm done I can put it back. They're numbered on the back or on the bottom so you can put them back in the order that they came in the palette. So that's pretty cool. So you can see I am just kind of doing a light wash of color here and kind of letting the water blend um, the colors together. I love these three colors or these four colors. The two in the middle are kind of my favorite. You can see I'm actually hitting the bottom of the pan because I've used it so much. Um, but the, I pulled these colors out because it goes along with the color challenge that I'm hoping to get this done in time to get on my blog and enter. So those are why I did pull out those colors. And I'm pulling out this like silver pearlescent um, color from that same set, which is the reason that I got the 36 set is to get these pearl essence colors. And I'm really excited because when I went to CHA, there's a whole metallic palette coming out to complement any of your Gonzai Tombi watercolor palettes that you might have. So that's kind of a cool thing to look forward to. So I'm just adding a light wash. I had let that completely dry, that first layer, and I did take a heat gun to it. I like to speed that up. And then I added a light wash of that pearlescent color on top. And it's just so pretty. I love that sheen on it. So now I am going to start making my cards. So I pulled out the My Favorite Things Dynamics Pop-Up Birthday die set. This is such a unique die. It's really cool. I actually made a card similar to what I'm making today for my daughter's birthday, which was last week. And um, I wanted to recreate it for a video. So I'm just lining up the happy birthday to you uh, dies on my card, kind of um, just centering them a little bit so it uh, looks nice and neat. Now that I'm looking at it, it's kind of crooked, but that's okay. It's a handmade card, so um, any of those little nuances are just adding to the character of sending out a handmade card, I think. And so I'm using some washi tape to keep those in place as I run them through my die cutting machine. So anytime I'm using like dies that I don't want to move or or like putting on dies to a card front that I'm actually going to use on later, I try to use the washi tape to keep that in place as I run it through my big shot. So you can see I just ran that through. Now I'm going to make sure that it went all the way through because it's a watercolor paper. Oh, and I didn't even mention what watercolor paper I used. I'm using the Fabriano Studio Watercolor Cold Press, 140 pound. So it's a thicker, heavier weight paper. That's why I wanted to double check I flipped it over and made sure that it did die cut all the way through and I've never had a problem with it not. So now I'm taking a frame 
a stitched frame from the My Favorite Things Blueprints 20 um, set. And this is like my go-to set, Blueprints 20, is like I use it on almost any every card, either this one or the cute little scalloped um, uh, rectangle die that's in it or the banners that are in it that are all stitched. It's like one of my favorites. I Yeah, you can probably see it in almost every single one of my cards that I've been making. And so I'm running that through, and again, I used some washi tape just to make sure that it would stay in place. And now I can take that out, and it just looks really pretty. I wanted to add kind of a mixed media touch to this card. I love doing mixed media, and I love making cards. And this year, I want to try to combine the two because I love them both, and I don't want to give up one to focus on the other, even though, I don't know, I've been struggling that maybe I should do that. But anyway... <laughs> <laughs> neither here nor there I took out some texture paste by Prima and it is the graphite it's really cool it's the first time I use it you can see I um, I actually had to open it um, but it's very grainy and has a really cool texture and it's kind of a gray a dark gray not completely black so I just thought that would complement the cool colors that are on this card that I used for the watercoloring so I'm just taking a palette knife and I'm kind of going around. I don't want to go over the sentiment because those words are going to pop up. They kind of pop up halfway and so I didn't want to go over any of that. And so I'm just going around in the areas that the dyes did not cut through. And I'm going to lift that up and you can see it just left a little subtle texture. And I actually used the Snow Falling uh, Mixabilities stencil by my favorite things and I love just the random dots you know it looks like snow falling if you use it the whole whole thing but I love the randomness of using it just like here and there so it really matched this paper or, or this cardstock that I have it's kind of a dark gray as well and it was a die I had this piece it was like a what is that like a it was in my stash like it was already die cut so I'm not sure what it might be a different die. I'm not sure what die I used to do it, but it's a full card front. Um, it's a full A2 size card front, so it'll cover up that front completely. And then I can um, put that on the front and then layer my panel, my watercolor panel. And that's pretty much the card for today. It's very, very simple. I think the watercolor and that really cute um, detail of having the happy birthday pop-up words. I think that's such a cool look. And um, I think My Favorite Things has some other sentiments that have the same effect. And so definitely want to check those out and see what other ones I can add to my collection. Because I think it's just really cool. Like when I first got it, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to use this. But there's so many different ways you can use it. You can use it for um, like gift wrap or tags to kind of add that pop-up. You could pop it up all the way if you put it on a top of a present or something like that. But on the card, I just kind of pop it up halfway so you can kind of get that shadow effect of the words. And um, it's kind of like inlaid die cutting that I really like to do, except the opposite. So it's kind of like it, but the opposite. So it doesn't really make sense, but you know what I mean. I just think that it looks really cool. I love this card. It's so pretty. It's so simple. It has that mixed media feel that I love, the watercolor look that I absolutely adore. And so here's a close up of all of that beautiful texture. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. My goal this year is to make more videos for you, but I want to know what you want to see. So leave your comments for me below, and be sure to check out my blog at inkyfairydesigns.com to see a full list of supplies used today, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.